Well, good day. Today we're looking at the Mongoose uh, Ledge 2.1. It's a 27.5 inch tire, because as you, as you can tell, I am a, a six foot two guy, so I really try to go for the bigger tires. I've extended the, uh, the, uh, the neck on the seat, because even with the bigger tires, the bike still isn't big enough. So when I sit on it, you can see like my legs are not fully extended. So even with the 27.5 inch tires, it's still not going to be tall enough. So what I'm going to do today is raise the handlebars and I'm going to extend uh, the, the seat neck and put a, a, a more comfortable seat on there because I need the upgrade. <laughs> So we're going to put a new seat on here. We're going to extend this up, and um, and then we're going to see like how does it ride, and uh, if the mongoose here is uh, the 27.5 inch is good for people six foot or taller, as they claim. And uh, I just want to say thank you to the Miller Family Farm Trust uh, channel. And if you haven't subscribed, <laughs> you know what to do. Subscribe. We do everything outdoors. We do bicycles, quads, 4x4 four four trucks, diesel trucks, farming, dump trailers, tractors, uh, uh, sustainable farming, grass-fed beef, grass-fed chicken, you name it, everything outdoors, we do it. So subscribe now and make sure you hit the bell button too so you get notified of our new cool videos coming out. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to then extend this right now and I'm gonna go buy a new seat. I'll be right back and buy a new seat because this thing is about an inch and a half wide. <laughs> and they think it's a racing bike rather than a mountain bike as they advertised it as. So I'll be back and we'll, we'll take a look. So welcome back to the Miller Family Farm Channel. And uh, I bought the, the Schwinn, it's called the Comfort Bike Seat and it's gel as it says here and really pliable but what i like is how wide it is compared to this seat it's just really wide so this seat's brand new i'm going to take this off and sell it on ebay for 10 15 bucks and i'm going to put on a new gel and it's a quite a bit taller as you can tell too so this was 29.97 and uh, you can look in the description below and i'll put a link in there so where you can buy this at and where you can buy the bike at as well if you're interested in this type of bike. I think it's a great deal for this bike at $170, $175. And I'll look for the best deals we could possibly find for our family here at Miller Family Farm. Uh, I always search the best deals we could find. So if I can find it cheaper, I'll put it in the below link. And uh, oh, I wanna show you one other thing as well. I also bought a, a rack, a bicycle rack that goes right here on the neck and you can carry up to 20 pounds on that. So if you're just running up to the store and you want to conserve diesel fuel, gasoline, or just help out the environment a little bit by riding your bike to the store, this is a great bicycle uh, rack for 20 pounds. That's all you're ever really going to need. And it's really well built. And it's made by Bell. Uh, and it's called the Caddy 350. C-A-D-D-Y 350. So I'll put a link down below. I paid... $24.97 for this plus tax. I'll see if I can't find this a better deal, but I'm going to install this too because I can't help myself. I just love building stuff. <laughs> so. All right, so all I have here is just a, a metric set of wrenches, and uh, I think it is a 14, yeah, 14 millimeter uh, wrench. So if you don't have one of these, I'll put a link below and find you a great deal on a cheap set of these because this is really all you need to work on this entire bike just about. It's just a wrench set. So we're gonna remove the seat right now and then install the new seat. And these are normal threads, uh, which means righty tighty, lefty loosey. And try not to scratch this up because we're gonna sell this as new other on eBay. So if we can get 10 bucks for the for the seat, it pays for half of our other seat. Here's our new seat. 
I'm just going to loosen this up and see if this is 14 as well. It is 14 as well. So we're going to loosen up the bracket. Oh, and it's adjustable forward and backward. That's nice. I like that. Okay. So we're just, the directions just say we're going to put this all the way down onto the shaft. All the way down and then tighten. So do I want this forward or backward? I want it backwards because I have long legs and that's what I'm compensating for is the long legs. So the further back it is, the more action we'll have. And for whatever reason, they have tightening on both sides. They have an adjustable nut on both sides. So don't tighten just one side, tighten both sides. Nice. Gel seat. Actually, I think I'm going to loosen that up just a bit. Because it looks like it's leaning forward, and I want it to be level with the bike. There we go. And you want to check, too, to make sure it's really perfect with your bike. It looks like it is. Yeah, looks right. And again, if you haven't subscribed, really, we do a lot of cool things on Miller Family Farm Trust. Everything outdoors, bicycling, ATV. I just bought a 2019 F-250 diesel pickup truck, and we put all kinds of mods on it. Uh, behind me is a tractor and bush hog. And we'll talk about how do we make monies with tractors and brush hogs that we use on our farm. And of course, a dump trailer. How do we make money with that? If we're going to buy equipment for the farm, it has to make us money, just not work on the farm, because that costs us money, but make us money as well. We'll talk about that in another video. All right, so that's that. We're now going to install the, the luggage rack, and it's really pretty simple. You just unscrew this handle, and this, <clears throat> this flips out of the way, and this opens up. So that is just so, so darn easy. And <clears throat> on all my videos, I like to actually grade what we think the mechanic uh, level is from one to 10. 10 being a uh, master mechanic is required. And I would definitely rate this a zero or a one. <laughs> you can do it. So, okay, so this is really, where do we want to put this? On the bike, how high off the tire? And I'd say probably as high as we can. And then we're just going to tighten this. And there's a, a rubber, like, a, a, like a, a piece of material in there that's rubber. And it feels like a, like a tube on the inside of your tire. So it's just really rubbery. And you have to make sure that goes around the entire shaft to make sure it has a good bite on it. probably do it. I bought the Schwinn one before and I really think it's probably a little better built than this one. The reason I say that is I spin this this knuckle it's just cutting into the steel and scraping off the paint. Make sure your your rack is directly over your tire, and then just press in to secure it. And I'm just guessing on my seat height here. That looks like it could be about right. So we're going to tighten up the, the seat height as well. Ugh. 
then you want to make sure these are, <laughs> you hear me grunting here, but as tight as you can get them because you don't want your seat dropping while you're riding the bike, right? So that looks about right. Let's see how it fits. Yeah, you see my leg is almost fully extended when the seat, when I'm sitting on the seat. And that's really what you want is a full extension on your leg. When the pedal is all the way at the bottom and your leg is almost perfectly straight. So that looks like it'll be a good height. We're just gonna bring these handlebars up to match so I'm not hunched over the handlebars and I'm more sitting upright. Okay, so now we're going to raise the handlebars to match the seat height. So basically we're sitting up in the seat and our arms are just you know, slightly lowered in front of us. And, uh, and all we need for this is just a hex head wrench set. And uh, this is a Husky and it has both SAE and metric. So this is a great set because man, when you really need these, you never have them. So I got a complete set. It has every, just about every variation meant no demand. And yes, of course, I'll price this and find the best pricing I can find on the internet. And I'll put it below in the description below this if you need this set. And we're going to be using a, so this is a six millimeter hex head. And basically what we're going to do is just loosen this ever, you know, just enough to start moving it. Don't, don't try to remove the whole hex head though. Just loosen it. Maybe two turns, you see it dropped on me, and that's all you need to uh, move it. So let's see how high this will come. You want to look for a knuckle here that's a tightener. And there it is right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it has like little slots in it. So we're going to put that back down. Right there is going to be the maximum. The maximum height that we can do. Oops, going the wrong way. Before you over tighten that, let's take a look. Make sure that it is straight. That looks pretty good right there. And you don't want to chip off your paint, so make sure that the hex head is all the way down in there. And then we want to tighten it pretty good because <laughs> you're steering with this. And if you don't want to steer to the side of a car or off the uh, pathway, then you want to get this pretty tight. Not over tight, but I'd say pretty tight. That looks pretty darn good right there. So we got about another two and a half inches out of that. And let's see how that sizes up. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. Heck yeah. So, so you can see that with my arms fully extended, I'm sitting mostly upright. You don't want to be completely upright, but you just want to be your arms extended like that. So, hey, let's go take this for a ride and see how it does. that is a lot better. That seat is really awesome. When they say gel, they mean gel. Uh, they say the maximum for this uh, bicycle is probably going to be my height, six foot two. So if you're any taller than that, you'll have to go from a 27.5 inch tire to a 29 inch tire or a 700 millimeter. And other than that, my legs are straight, super comfortable, like really great upgrade. And uh, the rack is great when you're just running up to this. So I'm going to get the um, the Schwinn rack because I really didn't like the, the nut here, the tightening nut. It just cut into the aluminum, peeled off all the black paint and cut into the aluminum to get it tight enough to go on here, which is not good engineering, Bell. So, <laughs> I mean, it's solid. It's solid. But I just, I like things. So I'm going to put the Schwinn on there because I used it on my last bike and it is high quality. And plus it'll match the seat. <laughs> okay. So, hey, we do everything outdoors. You know that. Uh, four by 
by four, farming, grass-fed beef, pasture chicken, pasture pigs, uh, brush hogging for a living, uh, for a business, dump trailers, you name it, we do it. Everything outdoors, ATVs, motorcycles, we love the outdoors. I know you do too or you wouldn't be watching. So subscribe and then make sure you hit the like button too. You know, YouTube doesn't pay us a penny until you get to a certain amount of subscribers. And so we're shooting for 1,000 subscribers by January 15th. We need your help. We really do, because we don't get paid a penny. Just to do this video, a 15 minute video, will take about one hour of, of camera shooting and about two hours of editing and then another hour of research to find the best pricing. So four hours we put into just bringing you a 15 minute video and how you can help us is just by hitting subscribe and like now. Thank you. And again, at the end of this video, we'll do a little bloopers reel where I'll do the pictures of the, of the stock seat and we'll put it on eBay and I'll let you know the pricing we got for it. Thanks family, see you soon.